Well, Minky Sun off YouTube here. I'm doing a tutorial. Look in the bottom right of my screen. This is a tutorial about, as you can tell by the title probably, how to get this status bar. Can you see that says the FPS, how many police are online, how many civilians, how many medics, cash, cash in the bank, and where I am, good references, etc. So um, if you want to add this to your server, but you're not quite sure how to do it, I am now going to show you. Yeah, yeah. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download yeah. some specific software. Something you'll need almost immediately is a PBA manager. I'll put a link to this one in the description, but if you've got one, then carry on using that. That's fine. I'm using PBA manager what am I on? version 1.4 beta. Uh, a program called Notepad++. This is like Notepad, only a million times better. And you'll see why shortly and why it's really useful to have it. So it's a free program as well, so you can go and grab that one. Another free program I use called FileZilla. Any FTP um, transfer client will do, um, but I'm gonna show you using FileZilla because it's the one I use and I like it. And another suggested application, really, I suppose, is something um, that is gonna let you manage your, visually manage your, your database. So I use Heidi SQL. And uh, I've hidden, the, there's some there's some stuff in there, there's our sort of UIDs in there, so I've hidden those. But uh, this is going to allow you to manage people uh, on your server, add money, do that sort of thing. But not only that, if you don't know how to whitelist, I'll do a separate tutorial on this. But um, it's it's really simple. You can do that from from within within this sort of um, this database manager as well, really quickly. And you can add tables, you can do all sorts of stuff. So that's that. Right. First thing I normally do um, after I've downloaded everything, got it all ready, is I normally um, then remember to stop my server. So the first thing you should do is stop your server. It won't necessarily cause issues when you're downloading, but it certainly will when you're uploading. And also you never know if there's gonna be just issues going on. So always stop your server before you start working with the files within it. Then you need to open up FileZilla. Uh, using the FTP login that you got from your server place, whatever it's called, your hosts, you need to log into your database. Uh, uh, not database, log into your server. Once you've done that, uh, navigate to your main folder so you'll have one, it'll, it'll look something very similar to this. So when you open it up, there'll be a folder within there. Um, then you wanna find a folder called MP Missions. It's near the bottom, I think it's like third one up. Click into that and then right click. So because I'm gonna say your map file, okay? Or your, your um, life file, if you're working with a life server, obviously. I'm, this, th there's four in here. The one I want is altis underscore life dot altis dot PBA. Now you should know which map you've installed based on the configuration files that you've done within your server. So I know that this is my map. So you may only have one in here, in which case easy. If not, work out which is your, your map that you're working on and download that file only. That's all you need to do. Now, once you've done that, you can actually right click and delete this file within here. We're not gonna use it. You could do that because you're gonna put something back. But if it goes wrong, if something goes wrong and, you, and you've made one mistake, uh, it's gonna cause you an issue. So I normally tend to rename them old uh, within the server and then add this back in later on when I've made the adjustments. If it doesn't run, I've got the backup there. And once I know it's working fine, I can delete that one, all right? So then what you need to do is you're gonna navigate then to that folder, okay? That you've downloaded everything to. You want to right click on this uh, artist life, the PBO, and, and then with PBO manager, move over to extract it to its own folder. That way everything stays in a nice sort of condensed way and you can work with it really simply. We've now got the Altus Life folder. So the first thing to do is delete this. We're gonna make another one, we don't need to worry about it. Inside of this folder, you're gonna find lots of different files and folders and things. And we're only gonna be working with a couple of them today. So this tutorial um, is brought to you not by me. I don't know how to do this myself. I literally am following somebody else's guide. Um, but I know people find it really difficult to read through guides and do stuff, so I thought I'd give you a visual way of doing it by showing you how to do it, and it's really simple and really easy. But the credit for this goes to Suffer For Real from the AltisLifeRPG.com uh, forums. I'm going to add the link to that forum in the description as well, because there's tons of resources there, and you will be able to talk to cleverer people than me if you've got problems. So we open up the folder, and we're going to be looking for Core. Okay, once you've found the core folder, open up and, and, and go within that directory. You're then gonna right click, you're gonna do new folder, and then you're gonna call it scripts. I've got one here. It's one I made earlier. 
Okay, once you've created that folder within this directory, not inside of anything else, you're going to double click it and then you're going to right click again. You're going to go new text document. Very important. You're going to highlight the whole of that and you're going to call it that fn underscore status bar dot sqf. Now the B is, is a capital in there. The title of this is going to be in the description. The description is basically going to be um, Suffer For Reels tutorial from the site. So uh, you've got a really easy way of doing it. You're gonna, it's gonna say if you rename the, the title SQF, in actual fact, we can just do something to show you. So text document, let's call this um, bag.sqf. And it's gonna say, if you do that, it won't do it. yeah, we will change it because SQF is a file that Notepad Plus can read. I don't need that anyway. Okay, so once we've called this FN status bar SQF, you're gonna open it up by double clicking. And it's gonna be blank, by the way, just so you know. And then you're gonna copy the first batch of text in the description below. So highlight it, right click it, come in here and click paste, and you're gonna copy the entire thing into this directory. Click save, and then close that window down. Okay, that's done. We're then gonna go back to our root directory, so essentially, this is the artist life folder. Everything within here is our root directory. Once we've done, once we've back into the root directory, we're going to open up this dialog folder. In the dialog folder, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to right click, new, text document, highlight the whole thing, and we're going to create um, a file called status bar dot hpp. Now that's a capital B, okay? Status bar dot hpp. Open that up and you're going to get this from the description text as well. And you're going to copy all of that and paste it directly into that file. Click save and close it down. We don't need that anymore. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the root directory again. Okay, which is here. And we're going to look for something called init.sqf. And it's just here. We'll open up the init.sqf and we're going to type. So all you, you're going to see in here you're going to see this, okay? You won't see that donor spawn, that's something I've put in, don't worry about it, you're gonna see Chrome settings in briefing though. And right here, you're gonna paste this. You're gonna just paste it in, in exactly the same place as it is there, the whole thing. Make sure that you've got these colons at the end, okay? That line again is gonna be in the description below. Then you're gonna close it, I don't need to save it because uh, I didn't really make the changes. Uh, it's already sort of done. So that's the init, init dot uh, sqf file next thing to do uh, is go into the description.ext file which is going to be above in sqf open that now you're looking for something called rcs titles now it's right at the top but if the if you're following another tutorial and they say oh it's our class uh i don't know um taser sound you can come up here search and find and type uh you know taser sound all that sort of stuff and what you're going to do is you're going to take this this text box uh, it, sorry from the from the description box below you're going to take this one the include dialogue status bar dot hpp and you're going to add that at the bottom of the rcs titles class within uh, if i show you within these two so it comes within this okay so this is kind of uh the included part of this file that's the one bracket, if you imagine that was there and that one was there, that's how it works, okay? Then you're gonna save that again. Close down WordPress. Come back into your um, life folder where you've got this. Right click, go to PBO Manager and pack it into a PBO, like third. Open up FileZilla again. Grab that folder and drag it into to show up and it's just there okay then over here start your server and one thing that i like to do when i start my servers is i like to look at the log view and i like to stream the file and then i can read every error that's happening is it's happening things that are missing what's going on and i can tell whether the server's going to run properly so let that run your server should run properly if it doesn't you've done something wrong again um if you've got any questions put them in the comment section below but i'm going to put a link to uh altisliferpg.com in the description if you've got if you've got a, a live server, it's a great place to go to get help and uh, resources and to find information out. Uh, if you've got an Exile server, 
Uh, I've put a link in the description for Exile Mod. Don't follow this tutorial for an Exile server. There'll be a different one for status bars and status bar scripts, etc. Uh, in the near future, I'm going to be showing you how to do Infostar soon for Exile and for Artist Life. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to set a server up from scratch. So if you like this, hit like if it's helped you and you want to say thanks, Minky, leave a comment saying that. If you hated it, if you thought it was tw I was a twat, then leave a hate. But um, all thanks again go to uh, Suffer For Real from the Exile, uh, sorry, from the Artist Life RPG.com forums. Uh, here we can see the server starting up perfectly well. There it is in that, in that amount of time. We can join the server and we'll have a status bar. You're good people, got a lot of time for you. Love you. Bye.